What up folks, welcome to Ontario History Vlogs. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's time for me to get back on track with my history vlogs. Been working on my short film, A City That Charms, representing Ontario in 1942. Stay tuned for that. Today we're here in downtown Ontario on Euclid Avenue and B Street to take a look at a building that was constructed 108 years ago, the original Bumstead Bicycle location who are still in business today. In 1909, Lloyd Garrison Bumstead purchased the Caldwell Bicycle Shop and changed the name to Bumstead Bicycles. A few years later, he then built his old bike shop located here at 109 East B Street. This was just 25 years after the bicycle was invented and also Bumstead was the very first Schwinn shop here in Southern California. And today they are the second oldest bike shop in the United States, a significant part of Ontario's history and in fact includes some Hollywood ties as well. Lloyd Bumstead Jr. was a production designer with Paramount Studios and worked on many films who won two awards for set design, the first for To Kill a Mockingbird and the second for The Sting. And the winner is, the winners are Henry Bumstead for The Sting. I'd like to thank the members of the Academy, George Roy Hill, and all the people associated with The Sting. Without their help, I wouldn't be here tonight. Thank you very, very much. He also worked on many of Hitchcock's films, such as The Man Who Knew Too Much, Vertigo, and Family Plot. Pretty darn cool, if you ask me. So it's a beautiful thing that this building is still around because it almost wasn't. I'm not too sure what had happened, but the building was saved, and now the new owner, Alex, and his crew are restoring this building to turn it into a distillery. Right in front of the old bike shop is the former Bank of Italy building, which was constructed in 1923. This too would be part of the distillery and the main entrance. Bumstead bicycles are still riding along even after 110 years. And who remembers our sporting goods store equipped with a shooting range in the basement? I'm sure many of you had some great times there. And also, does anybody remember when this was a hobby shop? Allegedly it was because there's some decals on the window that kind of insinuates that. I gotta get this quick, my, my phone is at 5%. Check out the decals. Cars, boats, trains. And on this side, there's a, uh, looks like a hot rod. And this guy. Alrighty, everybody, I appreciate you all watching. My phone and gimbal just died. I'm sorry for the sudden ending. I'm going to leave you all with some photos taken by Jeanette Burton from Burton Photography, lo located out in Reno Valley. She was on set for A City That Charms. Thank you very much, Jeanette, for these beautiful photos. I'm about to share it with everybody here. And I hope you all enjoy these nice photos by Jeanette Burton. Burton Photography, check her out. The link to her Facebook channel or page. Facebook page is in the description below. I appreciate you all watching. I'm Jerry James with Ontario History Blogs, reminding you to live, learn, to explore. Until the next time, see ya!